Hello everyone, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a very detailed look at the Scuf Reflex for PlayStation 5. In my opinion, this is one of the best PlayStation controllers that you can possibly get your hands on today. This is the most comfortable, most user-friendly controller that has a ton of pro features like having paddles on the back and extremely easy to remap those paddles as well. The pricing on it obviously is gonna vary a little bit. It can vary between 200 to all the way up to three or $400 based on how you finally are able to spec this controller because Scuf did finally add the configurator for the Scuf Reflex. It wasn't available six months ago, but now it is, they made it available like I think it was either really late in the springtime or really early summertime. And I've been using this controller again for the past four months and I do have a ton of thoughts about it. So number one, I do love the feel of the controller, like the somewhat matte finish up top, as well as the rubberized grips that you get on the Reflex Pro controller. And we'll go over some of the differences between the regular Reflex, the Reflex, Reflex Pro as well as the Reflex FPS. But with the Reflex Pro, basically one of the main differences is that you're gonna get these nice rubberized grips, which I definitely think are worth adding. And you also get these four and very easily reachable remappable paddles that you get on the PlayStation 5 controller. And I honestly feel like this is the best implementation of rear facing paddles that I have tried on the PlayStation 5. The other controllers that I have, like the Hex Gaming controllers, I'll show you real quick. I have the version that has two paddles on the back and these are really comfortable as well. Really easy to reach as well as really clicky. It's got a little bit of dust on it because I haven't been using it that much because I also have the newer version of it as well well with the four paddle design that has the exact same outer two as well as these two inner paddles but I do find that these paddles are a little bit less ergonomic to reach and you can kind of see that this one sticks up a little bit more than this one but not really that big of a deal functionally it works fine but ergonomically I just don't find it that easy to reach these as opposed to using them on the Scuf Instinct. And the Scuf Reflex does definitely feel like a lot more premium controller in direct comparison to the Hex Gaming controllers. Now, part of that is because of the grip material. This rubberized grip compared to this one, honestly speaking, does not feel nearly as grippy and as comfortable to use for long periods of time. But uh, Scuf, they definitely got it down as far as the grip and also the texture up top. I do prefer this more matte slash satin finish as compared to the glossy finish, which is obviously part of the choice of uh, the design that I went with. I knew it was gonna be glossy, but but honestly, I really don't love glossy coatings. I love the way the controller looks, but just not the way that the controller feels with this glossy design. Wish there was a way to have uh, the same design with a matte coating instead. Now, going back to these paddles, you can very easily remap these paddles. All you have to do is tap the profile button, then press and hold it until this little indicator on the front of your controller starts to blink. Then once that is blinking, you will press and hold whatever paddle you want to remap, and then you'll go back over to the face buttons and tap the face button that you want to remap to the paddle that you're holding. And once you're done remapping all of your paddles, you will then press the profile button again to save all of your profiles. And that's pretty much it. It's very easy to change the uh, paddle remapping and whatnot on this controller, but you also do have three different profiles that you can save on the controller as well. So if you are quickly switching between, let's say an FPS game, Game, a racing game and an adventure game you can have three different profiles all loaded onto the controller so that you really don't have to go through that quick remapping process again uh, unless you want to make a quick change but that's pretty nice that they give you the profile so you don't really have to fidget with it that much now on the scuff reflex controllers you can also pop off the bottom of the front shell to swap your thumbsticks unfortunately you can't really pop off this top shell like there's no real way to because i believe that this is integrated with the rest of the controller so you can't really customize the appearance of this controller nearly as easily as you can with the scuff instinct for xbox the instinct for xbox obviously you can pull off the entire front shell and change the look of the controller very easily most importantly though you can swap out the thumbsticks uh, very easily if you want taller or shorter thumbsticks. Right now, I'm just using the standard length thumbsticks. And I'm not gonna hold you guys up. These scuff thumbsticks that they've been using on the new controllers are very, very good. Like after having the controller for four months, I really don't feel any wear and tear that is like horribly different from what I felt on day one. Like 
compared to day one, they definitely feel a lot smoother, but the older scuff thumbsticks basically used to deteriorate and break like they were that bad. And it seemed like they were designed to do that, but these are definitely built to last a whole lot longer and they definitely have been standing the test of time. The thumbstick anti-friction rings are very good as well. The thumbstick controls are very comfortable and definitely a step up from using a stock PlayStation controller. Now, the main differences between the scuff reflex, reflex pro and the reflex FPS, between the reflex and reflex pro, really the main difference is that you get the rubberized grip on the bottom of the controller. And then the big difference on the reflex pro compared to the reflex FPS, the reflex FPS comes with those instant triggers as well as instant bumpers. And they're gonna make like a mechanical sound. But my problem with the reflex FPS, the reason why I personally wouldn't get it is just because it's not like the scuff instinct probably because the PlayStation 5 has those adaptive triggers that depending on the game that you're playing, it will retention the trigger on the fly and it will change the way that you play the game a little bit. And don't get me wrong, that's a really, really nice feature, but I think that Scuff just hasn't figured out how to make it so that you can still get the adaptive triggers as well as being able to switch on the fly to those uh, you know, instant mouse click like switches. So on the Xbox version, they figured out a way to do it. Like there's literally a little switch right here and this is hands down my favorite gaming controller of all time at this point. Like this controller is really, really nice. Even though these two inner paddles are not as easy to hit as the paddles on the Reflex Pro, um, but these two outside ones are very easy to hit. And I love the way that I can swap from a full trigger press really easily to that instant mouse click switch on the Instinct 4 Xbox. So I wish that Scuff Gaming would figure out a way how to get this same type of system uh, from the Instinct onto the Reflex. And if that was the case, uh, then I would change my opinion. I would prefer this controller over the Xbox controller just because like this is just a really, really nice controller. And I feel like I can easily use the uh, bumpers or the triggers interchangeably for FPS games, where on the Xbox, you're kind of forced to just use the triggers just based on the way that the controller is shaped. And all honesty, the Xbox uh, One base controller is not as comfortable as an Xbox 360 controller, uh, just because it's a little bit more angular. This one is great, but it's not as good as the OG 360 controller. And the PlayStation 5 controller, in my opinion, feels a lot closer to that Xbox 360 controller. Not one-to-one, -one, but just a lot closer. Now on Scuff Gaming's website, you can finally configure your own Scuff Reflex controller. It should be very easy to do. Really, all the options are mostly cosmetic with the exception of the thumbsticks. You can select, like I said, longer, shorter, convex, concave thumbsticks to change your gaming experience a little bit. And personally, again, for the PlayStation 5, I would definitely go with the Reflex Pro as opposed to the Reflex FPS. Just because, again, you cannot swap those impulse triggers for the instant action triggers and bumpers. And I do have another controller and some exposure to those instant triggers like the Hex Gaming controller that I have. These have basically a very similar implementation. And it was actually a sooner version of a Pro controller that this came out like literally a year ago, about six months ahead of the Scuff controllers and had this feature. And I thought that it was really cool, but I was really upset when I couldn't turn the feature on and off and I wanted to use these back buttons for other games. So again, on the second version of the Hex Gaming Controller, I opted to not go for those instant triggers and I would do the same for the Scuff. Now between the Hex Gaming Controllers and the new Scuff Reflex, which one would I pick? Well, again, the Reflex is my new favorite controller. I would go for the Reflex again and again. And if you hold both of these in the hand, the Reflex just feels a lot more premium than the Hex Gaming controllers. Like they feel very similar in terms of just feeling like a PlayStation controller because in its base form, that's really what they all are. But just the feel of the scuff controllers as far as the front of the controller compared to the Hex Gaming is a little bit better with the matte textures. But really where it all comes together is just the back. The back of the scuff controller feels much, much better in terms of the grips. And also these back buttons just feel like they were designed a lot more intricately as opposed to the Hex Gaming design. It's good, but it just feels a little bit too tacked on for my liking. This feels like it was a lot of R&D time spent making sure that this was perfect. And I'd honestly be surprised if Scuff over the years changes this design for the Reflex for the PlayStation 5. Because honestly, these paddles are 
just about perfect in my opinion as far as the placement as far as their ease of use they did a really good job i'm not gonna lie to you guys they did a really really good job in years past scuff gaming did not really have the highest um regard to opinion in my eyes but they have definitely done a great job to really change my opinion on them in the past their playstation 4 controllers compared to their newer playstation 5 and xbox series console controllers are night and day differences like seriously look at pictures of the old scuff controllers and look at pictures of the new scuff controllers and if you feel them in the hand they feel entirely different the build quality has gone up dramatically and really the only thing that i can ask more from scuff gaming is just to cover things like thumbstick drift and defects uh longer than a three month or six month period of time whatever their current warranty period is i'll put it on the screen right now so you guys can see it but i wish that their warranties were at least a minimum of a year 18 months would be nice but minimum a year because their controllers are just so much money you really would not expect something to go wrong in the first six months anyways but after you know nine months a year of hardcore gaming if things start going wrong and you spent over 200 dollars on a controller i would definitely be really upset but anyways thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoy drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well and drop a comment what do you guys think of the new scuff gaming controllers do you like them do you hate them do you think that they should be lower priced uh 100 do because i think everything should be lower priced 200 dollars a controller is kind of insane but if you want the best controller they all kind of cost that much anyway so it is what it is but thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in the next video